Notion has recently launched Notion AI Q&A, which is a chatbot accessing specifically the entire content in your Notion workspace and able to answer questions around any of that content in your workspace. So the value of this chatbot is that rather than being a general chatbot that can answer questions from the internet or from the trained data that are generic, this is specifically trained on the workspace content that you have in Notion. So if you're an individual, for example, and you are building your second brain system after understanding the value of it, after reading the dedicated book by Tiago Forte or any content around it, this can be valuable to retrieve knowledge quickly without disrupting your workflow and building up a repository of knowledge that you can access at any point and that is specifically customized for you. If you are a company, this can be valuable for helping onboarding people, for example, where they can answer questions and find answers as long as you have data in your workspace, documentation and well-structured content that is natively living within Notion. Or it could help anyone in the team ask questions and make sure that you can work more effectively as in a synchronous team, as opposed to having to always ask questions in a Slack workspace, for example, or via email or other messaging tools. So if you have a Notion workspace, you can access Notion AI Q&A if you already have the add-on Notion AI plan into your workspace, or if you sign up for it, then you will be added to the wait list because currently they are releasing Notion AI Q&A a bit slowly to new users of Notion AI. So let's dive into the features, the limitations, and everything that you need to know about Notion AI Q&A as of today. And the first thing to know about Notion AI Q&A is that you can access it from the bottom right corner where you have this conversational chat right here without disrupting your workflow. Or you can access the Q&A feature through Control P or Command P, that is the search menu in Notion that searches across your entire workspace and where you can directly ask questions to Notion AI Q&A from here. And the Q&A agent here doesn't really know the context of where you're asking the question from as of right now. So you can't reference the current page, for example. You can only ask general questions for the content in your workspace as long as you know that it is in your workspace. And oftentimes the answers are accurate. Sometimes it does hallucinate, at least in my experience right now. If you ask a question that you know the answer is in your workspace, in a page in your workspace, but still it doesn't provide the right answer. And this is still in alpha right now, so it is a work in progress and definitely not perfect. So when you open Notion AI Q&A right here, you can see you can ask a question. And for example, here I am in a wiki database, just for the purpose of this video to show a few pages. And whenever I'm in my Notion workspace, I can ask questions about anything in my workspace. But for this example, let's say I'm going to ask, what are the principles of our business? So you can see it thinks, it searches through the workspace, it outputs the pages found that it is searching across, it outputs an answer to your question right here, and it includes the sources to the answer and to specific portions of that answer. And you can see here, this is a pretty accurate answer based on the content that I know is on the page in the Notion wiki here that I'm looking at. And you can see that these are the pages. I can see more. These are the pages where it got the content from. And I can just open that page and then navigate to that source easily within the Notion workspace. In addition, I can also provide feedback to this answer with a thumbs up button or thumbs down button. Notion says specifically that they do not use the data to train their AI model. So 
everything is privacy oriented, at least according to the Notion team. And you can see here that in addition, you can also copy the answer or you can try again to prompt a new answer to the same question right here. And for now, that is really it. That's Notion AI Q&A and the key features of it. This is part of Notion AI overall. And in addition to the AI add-on that you can have in your workspace that you can use on any page to generate content, brainstorm content, edit content, translate content, or whatever functions you can see from the slash command with the AI feature, as well as database properties that can be enriched with AI content. So those were past features on Notion AI. And the Notion AI Q&A is a new sort of vertical of Notion AI as a whole add-on to your Notion workspace. For any questions or comments, you can write them down below. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.